So this video is about what you need to know to do the lab exam. So first of all, in your lab manual, there is one page on lab 8, which is the lab exam, that you should read ahead of time. It gives you some information about what to expect in the exam and also what would be useful to bring to the exam. The lab exam is going to be worth twice what a normal lab is, and you do have to work solo, so you don't get a partner. There, it'll be a fill-in-the-blank style exam booklet, so you'll be given an exam booklet, you write your data in that, you do your calculations in that, that's what gets handed in, and then that'll be graded and handed back to you. Generally, it'll be handed back in the next lab period rather than on the handback shelves like normal. It's a closed book exam, but you are allowed to have bring one piece of paper with anything you want written on it, so you do get a formula sheet. The exam consists of two parts. There's a simulation based on a pendulum swinging, and there is also a second part where you put a little plastic car on a roller coaster track, let it slide around, and take some measurements off of that. The whole exam is built around the concept of energy, so if you want to study ahead of time, what I'd recommend you do is think about how energy relates to pendulums and roller coasters, and what energy equations would be most useful to you. Technically, you're not supposed to talk to other students during the lab exam, but in practice, we do allow you to work together to take data. So you can talk very quietly to other students just as it relates to getting data, but then you have to separate and not discuss what you do with the data after that. In the uh, lab manual on that one page regarding lab 8, that is the lab exam, they give you some suggestions on what you might want to put on your formula sheet. So I'm just going to go through those two. So with regard to uncertainties, you're not going to be told what good uncertainty values to use would be. So for example, if you weigh something or if you measure something with a tape measure, you're not going to be told what the uncertainty is. You're expected to come up with a reasonable uncertainty value for that sort of measurement yourself. Uh, likewise, with calculating uncertainties, if you've got some formula and you need to calculate the uncertainty on it, you're expected to come up with how to do that. You won't be told. So if you something is multiplied or divided or raised to a power, you have to figure out how to get the uncertainty for that equation. Uh, you do need to r know how to write a conclusion. You will not be given that bullet list like you've seen in previous labs, so if you think you need it, put it on your formula sheet. Uh, they do say that you should look into how to make a graph, but I'll just tell you, you won't be making a graph by hand during the lab exam. You do need to know how to make a data table by hand, however. And they suggest writing down some uncertainty word equations relating to energy. So that just goes back to what I was talking about. Think about the energy equations that would relate to a pendulum or to a roller coaster, and then think about how to get the uncertainties for those equations too. If you have any questions about the lab exam, contact your lab instructor nice and early and ask them. Uh, we do want to help you get prepared for the lab exam as much as you can be. So good luck on it, and we'll see you then.